All right, everybody, this is just a super quick video on how we make uh, the puppy gruel. So, um, while you can use plain milk, <laughs> plain whole yogurt, this container just has uh, kibble that's been ground up in the coffee grinder, so it's nice, really fine. There's a couple larger pieces, not very much, but they are just barely four weeks old and just starting off. Uh, Mama is not nursing anymore, so they are still getting the Espelac, the puppy milk replacer. I do have another recipe that has, um, you know, goat milk based instead of this, but for 10 puppies, this is working, and the rescue pr that we work with provides um, the milk replacer for me. So with this lot, there's 10 of them, so feel free to cut this recipe down. But it is two cups, their weight right now is two cups worth of puppy milk replacer. And then um, I am adding one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's like, um, oh, what is that? Six tablespoons is like three eighths of a cup or so. You could probably go more, but they're just getting introduced to this part, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I have some, this is just Gerber's rice cereal. I'm not trying to promote Gerber per se. It just is a good thickener, any rice cereal for them. Uh, kind of helps them learn to get a little more solid foods, and so it's not as liquid. You can um, just throw it in. Um, I usually do, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to add one cup of this. And that usually, I might add another cup here in a minute, but so um, that's all I added up. Then I have the electric tea kettle, which works really great for knowing the temperature. I let it heat up to 105. That's just about, by the time I serve it to him, it's about 100 degrees, which is, I mean, that's a normal dog's temperature, so. According to the formula on the back, the Espelax formula, it's uh, two, two parts water to one part formula. So um, you can use that. So that's two, two cups of water. I just use a pint size mason jar if that works. So that's two cups of water. So um, let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit. My whisks are all dirty. You don't really want to whisk for a lot of bubbles because that can create colic, but um, it's kind of good to break up the milk chunks initially. And then I just stir it. Whoa, way to make a mess. Sorry guys. Don't worry, we'll clean that up afterwards. So while I'm mixing this, just go over the two types of dishes that we use here for um, serving the puppy gruel. Let me get some of these chunks built up. Um, the first dish is like a saucer dish, like the, I think they call it the flying saucer online or something like that. That's about 13, 14 bucks. You can. Um, spend the money on that. The rescue provided us with one, but with ten little mouths to feed, they kind of fight and they jump all in it. Uh, so, not a good fit for our crew because they're getting too big for it, so I'd need a second or a third to divide them up. Sorry, I'm kind of sloshing this around. Be a little messy trying to make a quick video here. So, um, sorry about that. But what another great alternative for being able to spread out the puppy gruel and it not get everywhere. Here you go, Mama. Want to lick that fork? Oh, yes. Mama loves that. Okay. So, is a chick feeder here. And I, sorry, I already splashed some in it, but chick feeder without the tops removed. They are about four or five bucks a piece, I think. Um, maybe four. At, we just got ours at uh, Thesons, Tysons, however you guys pronounce it. Well, I pronounce it Thesons, but anyhow. I just fill it up and it's kind of more on the liquidy side right now because they're just learning how to do this and it will get thicker and thicker as I um, as I get older. Here and I just grab the spatula to um, go ahead and 
try and wipe the bowl clean, but then I give it to mama to, to lick anyway, so she'll love it and it's good for her. She can, it's just the same kibble she's on. She's on a puppy chow. She's a rescue. She's barely a year old herself, so she's just a baby as well. But mama loves cleaning up the mess, huh? Here you go, mama. So that's what we do in terms for setting up the puppy chow. And then let me uh, show you what the setup is for feeding the babies.